Okay, uh, good afternoon. I'm Denver Holt of the Owl Institute in Charlotte, Montana. And I just want to uh, maybe address a few questions that people have had concerning the long ear owls or the disappearance of their long ear owls from their nests. Uh, it's very typical at about three weeks of age for the chicks to branch or to leave the nest. And so what you've seen through this whole process, if you've seen the beginning of egg laying, the incubation period, the hatching and the nestling period, the female incubating while the male brings prey, sometimes she goes off the nest to receive prey or to go to the bathroom, or maybe just to take a break, and as the chicks have developed. So at about three weeks of age, the oldest chick will start to what we call branch or leave the nest, and the other chicks usually follow in in a related age and so the oldest ones first and followed by the youngest ones but generally speaking by about three weeks of age they're off the nest now they're out of camera view but they're still alive and they're just in the trees surrounding the nest it's really covered over now with leaves so it's real difficult to see but at night you might hear them food begging uh, you probably won't be able to get a count they could occasionally venture back to the nest and stand there for a while and move on but for the most part they're off the nest for good what we think goes on there and why that happens, we, prob we think it's probably because of uh, predation. If you have all your eggs in one basket, for example. So they probably have a developmental process that takes a certain amount of time where they can't leave the nest, such as when they're first able to thermoregulate on their own, have the mobility, etc. And that's about three weeks. And then they get off the nest probably as fast as they can. We found over the years that every once in a while a raccoon or some other predator will climb into the nest and eat all the eggs and or eat chicks. So again, they, they, they're probably getting off as soon as they can and get into the safety of the branches. Now they're spread out. Even if the first two chicks get off and a raccoon go to the nest and ate the other chicks, you still have successful reproduction for the year. So they're going to sit in these branches at night, but they're still totally dependent on the parents for food and protection. They have the ability now to withstand most weather conditions. Uh, with their feather structure and their thermal regulation and all that. Uh, but yet they can't hunt and they can't fly. It'll be another few weeks before they begin short flights. That's right in that, right around 35 days or so begin short flights. Again, still totally dependent on the parents for food. Uh, then as they fledge and develop their flying skills, and we're really not sure how long it takes to be really good at flying, uh, but they still can't hunt yet. So again, dependent on their parents for food. What we've learned over the years is there comes a time when the females appear, again you have to interpret this, appear to be done. And maybe in around 10 weeks or so the females are less involved and sometimes they just disappear. We don't see them again. But the male is still around and the male continues to deliver food. Presumably at this time when the young are flying they're also maybe learning some hunting skills. And then you know, 12 weeks, 14 weeks of age, you know, it varies a little bit among nests. Uh, the males disappear, and then it appears that the young are on their own, but maybe by the time they're 15 weeks old or so, it varies a little bit there. Uh, and hopefully, you know, they can develop the skills to hunt on their own and survive. So, that's it. <laughs> now what? <laughs> okay, so now... Uh, for anyone who's interested in the Owl Institute, uh, you can get involved in a variety of ways. Uh, you want to contact Jessica Crowley Larson of the Owl Research Institute, and she would be the person to talk to. Um, and if there's any questions, you can go to our website as well at owlinstitute.org and maybe learn a little bit more about us and how to support us.